Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing amazing today. So I just wanted to jump on here and do a collective energy reading just to kind of see where we are all at right now, where we're going, what it's going to look like, what we can expect, and so we know what to prepare for, so we know what to manifest, so we know what to let go of. But I want this uh, particular reading to be uh, the intention, I want it to be positive like I want the focus to be on the positive because it is Christmas after all right Merry Christmas everybody it's Christmas let's get positive let's 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 look into the gifts the blessings that are coming our way for each and every one of us and in what way we can expect that and what it's going to look like for each of us and all that good stuff okay so let's get started <sighs> Okay, let's pick some oracle cards to get us started, to get the overall energy of what's going on. What's going on right now? Let's see. What's going on? Where are we going? Where are we headed? What are our blessings? What are the amazing things that are coming for the collective right now? Okay, that's one. We'll get two more okay and okay two more okay so let's take a look at your first card Ooh. okay we have devil interesting we have psychic Ooh, cool <laughs> okay Ooh, and then we have oppression we have devil, psychic, and oppression. Woo! Okay, what the heck is going on? Interesting. Whew. All right. So we have psychic, which is like, it's so crazy. These are oracle cards, but they're pulling from, it's like both of these cards, like devil and uh, psychic. It's like, this is the devil card from the tarot. It's the, the tarot card is even right here in this card. And this is like the high priestess, the high priestess tarot card. Okay, so what I'm initially feeling about these two cards together is that, yeah, you, <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, you're just, you're radiating you're radiating love energy, you're radiating light energy, you're radiating strength. You are just completely radiating love that, I mean, yeah, the devil card's here. So there are things that are triggering you. There might be things that are triggering you, but you are way too, you're, you're already there. Like you're, <laughs> you are already like you're not going to be dragged down by the triggers. You're not going to be dragged down by people that are chained to their own uh, limiting beliefs. Like there are people that are resonating at lower vibrational frequencies and they just can't, they can't, <clears throat> they can't mess with you. You're too powerful. You're too, you've learned too much. You've grounded too much into your love energy into your highest self like you're really whew, you're really um you're really strong and, and activated right now <clears throat> excuse me that's just what i'm seeing right now and so like there's there may be people or situations that <clears throat> excuse me want to break you or want to bring you down and you're just so you're you're too you're too activated. You're too confident. You're too, and this is a good, good thing. You're not overly this. You're like, you're overly this for dark, for the darkness, for these lower vibrational energies. Like they can't mess with you. They can try, but there's not going to be any success in what their agenda is. Okay. All right, so we have oppression here. So let's kind of take a look and see what that oppression here. Why is oppression here? I'm going to pull a tarot card to see why oppression is here for the collective. 
Why is oppression here? Why is oppression here? Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. But it was in its reverse position. Okay, it was in its reverse position. I'll read it reversed. I suppose so. <laughs> okay, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So, Nine of Pentacles, or not Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Hello. Nine of Cups. That has to do with wish fulfillment. But if it's in its reverse position. Okay. Oh, so the oppression is. Oh, the oppression is. Not you. You're not being oppressed. This devil energy is being oppressed. Okay. That's it. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. So this devil energy, it's just like lower vibrational energies. You know, for some, it could very much be, you know, religious if that's what you're into. It could be, so you might feel like you're fighting demons or uh, for other people, it just can mean just lower vibrational energies and that could be situations or people or uh, way of ways of thinking so and I, it almost feels like like past energy as well like it could this could be representative of someone from the past trying to you know get to you some way in in a way that they have they had before but it's not working you're too powerful you're too you're on a mission and you're just focused on that mission of light and healing and goodness that just <laughs> this devil energy is oppressed it can't it's you're shutting it up like this is the devil energy right now it's like got a cover over its mouth and it's like it's it's like trying to get to you but this is this is that energy it's like nope your energy your powerful energy is causing like this dense dark energy to be oppressed okay and that's what this nine of cups represents because nine of cups is about wish fulfillment and because it's in its reverse position in association with the oppression card it just means like what what someone's trying to do to you to like to bring you down even if they're not actually like uh purposefully trying to bring you down some people are just broken and don't realize that their brokenness and their demons are like taking over and hurt the people that they care about but they don't want to take responsibility for their demons so they just think that because they mean well <laughs> and when their demons are like hurting the people they love they don't take accountability for their own demons they just want to say it's other. anyway it's just like this dark this just low low vibe energy it's it's not working like you're not penetrating this you, you're not penetrating these people you're not penetrating these powerful people which is you because these powerful people are impenetrable okay amazing <laughs> like these annoying lower vibrational energies it's they're not it's not going to work it's not happening for you baby okay <laughs> what Okay, what else? What else? Let's do Let's do a an oracle, another oracle card. Let's do a spirit animal oracle just to kind of see what's going on. What's going on with the collective? This is really cool. This is fun. It's fun to see this good energy in 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 control, in charge. Okay, we have hawk spirit i love this let spirit be your guide let spirit be your guide okay so that just means that we're really starting to integrate or we're really starting to call on help from our spirit guides and not try to handle things on our own because it was never meant we're, we were never meant to handle our challenges alone okay 
we have to pull in spirit. We have to pull in our spirit guides because they know exactly what to do, okay? They, they know how to keep us safe, okay? They can't tell us exactly what we're going to do and how we're going to use our power. That's up to us. Uh, we have the power... Um, we have the power from our spirit guides. We have the power from uh, God, but we are the ones who are supposed to creatively use that power to resolve things, to to uh, to create things. You know, we we co-create with spirit. Okay, we are co-creators of God. Like we, you know, <laughs> we 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 create too. Okay, we have. Uh, you know, spirit can't tell us exactly what to do, like I just said, but it can definitely protect us and guide us and keep us, you know, like, we make the decisions, we make the creative thoughts, but spirit and, like, God, like, keeps us on track. So if we start kind of going the other way, God just kind of sc scoots us over, and then we could go back to the same way, and it we'll get scoot over again as long as we're on the right path as long as we stay focused on our intentions of where we want to go like we will be assisted by we will have divine assistance divine assistance okay so let spirit be your guide okay anytime you face a challenge this you you pray right you know yeah anytime you face a challenge you know where to go you know how to fix it you know where the answers are excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> sorry, okay, you see things from a higher perspective, that's what the hawk is all about, okay, the hawk flies high, high, high above the ground, so the hawk can see things from a high perspective, you can see things from a higher perspective, you see things uh, the way they are, not just the way you are, you know, you see things subjectively, not just, no, you see things objectively, not just subjectively, okay, let spirit be your guide, okay, let's, okay, let's get some more tarot cards here, okay, what else can the collective expect, what blessings can the collective expect, you know, we, we, let's hear what the good, let's hear the good stuff, right, this, it's Christmas. Let's hear. Okay. 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 Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight of wands. Oh, yeah. You know where you're going. Okay. And seven of pentacles. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Wow. Wow. Okay. So this is interesting. Yeah, the the image I see in my head with this card is we have the uh, the Eight of Wands, which has to do with speed and going after your passions, going after what you you're focused on, what you want. Just this is just like the speed card, okay? You got your eye on something, you're aiming. Yeah, you're aiming and you're shooting, and whatever whatever it is that you're aiming and shooting towards, you'll it's it's going to um <laughs> it's going to uh, result in financial gain okay and if this is like something you've been working on it feels like it's definitely something that you've been working on because we have like all of these other you know seeds all this other fruit here as well okay so he's it's Harvest time is here. He's collecting what he's grown. He's collecting what he's earned, you know, and he's walking away with his earnings. So I feel like for you guys, what's coming very soon, I feel, is you're going to have an opportunity to strike and then you will receive benefits from that. Okay, nice. I like that. You are... Yeah, you've got your eye on exactly what you need. You're taking a shot. You're taking a shot and you will be rewarded rewarded for that. <sighs> yep, an opportunity. I see an opportunity. I'm going for it. <clears throat> I'm aiming, I'm shooting. Voila, you got it. Right on the money. <laughs> right on the money. <clears throat> so if you're <clears throat> trying to 
maybe if you're not even trying to necessarily uh, get financial or gain financially, you're going to with whatever it is that you're focused on, whatever it is you're aiming towards, which is something very magical. You might be a psychic. You might be getting your some like clear psychic gifts and you're utilizing it in a really unique way. You're utilizing it in a very unique way and you're finding an opportunity and you're hitting it right on the money is what I'm saying. You're hitting it right on the money and in return, you're receiving money. You're receiving financial gain. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And so because of this, it's, I love this because, <clears throat> um, we have, you know, psychic, the high priestess in the middle. Okay. And then on the side <clears throat> is the devil card. And then on the other side is the oppression. Okay. So that's the, that's lower energies, not having any power over you. Okay, that's lower energies not having any power over you. That's this lower energy trying to fulfill a wish or an intention. And it's not working because there's it's impossible. It's impossible to penetrate you because you're impenetrable. You're too strong. You're too powerful. And your focus is too... Yeah, and because the devil card has even, could even represent distractions. Any distractions. Anything that's distracting you from this energy... It's like, it's hovering, it's hovering, it's like a, it's like a, like a vampire, like lurking in the shadows, just like watching you, and it's like, you can watch all you want, bud, but you can't touch, you can look, but don't you touch, you know, you can, you can join, you can come to the light too, if you want to, oh, they're like, ah, yeah, ah, ah, what, no, I want to take you down. I want to be you. It's that's just what I'm hearing. Like don't want to join, but it's like, okay. But you can't touch, you know? Like the it's the energy is too strong, it's too powerful, it's too good that there's your these your spells won't work. Your dark spells are just pff, are pointless. Okay? Take that how it resonates, okay? I'm not saying there's necessarily people putting spells on you, but it depends on who you are. If you if you uh if you uh, resonate with that, you know, if, you, if it fits, sit. <laughs> Say if it fits, I sit. If it does not, then leave it for someone else. Okay. All right. What else is going on in the collective here? Let, what blessings are coming? What's, what, what good things are coming for the collective right now? But also, what does the collective need to know and prepare for as well? Ooh. Oh, Okay. So for a lot of you, you're going to be reuniting with somebody. Um, you're going to meet your soulmate. You're going to meet a best friend. You're going to come together. Even reconciliation with someone maybe that there is like, <clears throat> maybe there was some, some drama between you and somebody else and you're reconciling and you're, you know, coming back together <clears throat> or you could be meeting someone that you really really <coughs> love excuse me I'm sorry you can meet meeting somebody that you really have been waiting for oh my god come on now excuse me I need a wet in the whistle <clears throat> okay, you could be meeting somebody, you can be meeting a soulmate, just some kind of connection is happening, like, just like a connection of like, oh, thank God, like, I hope you found your moving buddy, I don't know, this kind of is giving me, like, moving buddy, moving buddy, maybe you felt alone, and now you've met your, your other person that will that makes you feel at home, like you found your home in somebody, maybe. Okay, let's let's see more about this union. What's going on with this union here? The Queen of Cups. 
Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. Why is the Queen of Cups in reverse? Why is the Queen of Cups in reverse for the collective in regards to this union? Hmm, okay. If I can properly shuffle these cards, that would be great. Okay, why is the Queen of Cups here in reverse? Okay, so maybe there is, because we have the Three of Swords in tandem with the Queen of Wands regarding this partnership. Okay, maybe there was a love lost. There was a love lost. Okay, there was a love lost. There was heartbreak. Okay, and you're healing from that heartbreak. Somebody's coming in. It could either be, and it, this is, is dependent on each individual's situation. Like you could be, you could have um, been heartbroken, whether it's from a past relationship or something else, just something that broke your heart to, and just kind of, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Cups represents like, um, it's a very feminine energy. It cares a lot. It takes care of people or they queen of energy or queen of cups energy is very caring and compassionate, understanding, loving in this, in whatever happened to this person, whatever happened to you, if you resonate with that as it, as this being you, somebody just, their heart was broken Somebody's heart was completely broken and their lives were just turned upside down by this broken heart. And you could be getting back together with with this situation or this this um brokenness uh this broken situation, you could be getting back together with somebody and healing the relationship, healing a relationship that that um that really kind of destroyed you almost, like really hurt your heart. Uh, you could be reconciling with somebody if you feel connected to that situation. Or it could be you you had your heart broken very badly and now you're, uh, you're meeting somebody who can help mend you, that heart. That can help mend your heart back together. Okay? Somebody... And this could be a new relationship. Um... It could be um, just meeting a friend, meeting a mentor, meeting somebody who is helping you through this heartache, through this heartbreak. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a heartbreak. It could just be a heartache from something that happened. Okay, let's let's get a little bit more into what happened. Like, why what happened in this heartbreak? So we can get some clarifiers for it. Okay. Okay, water disaster. Hmm. Maybe did you feel abandoned or something? <clears throat> somebody may have felt felt abandoned and now you're being saved. Like somebody is coming to save you from your feelings of abandonment. Okay, yeah. They're just, and this could be spirit. This could be uh, feeling abandoned by like somebody or a situation and what's coming for you if it hasn't already come is somebody to help you pick up the pieces and to make you feel like you're not abandoned to make you feel like you're whole to make you feel like you so you're seen like somebody sees you and loves you and appreciates you <clears throat> okay so if if you don't feel that coming in right now it's definitely coming in for you. Somebody is coming in to hold you and say, you're not alone. You're not, you know, I'm here for you. Like, I'm here now. Okay? So take that however it resonates with you. Okay? So, yeah, you're getting... Somebody's coming in to help. Okay? And that could be a person or that could be your spirit guides. Or it could be God. You know? It could be a very strong... 
individual, whether it be a natural person or a spirit guide or um, an entity of love. Okay, we'll say that. <laughs> okay, um, what else? What else, spirit? What else can the collective expect? What blessings? What is? What are? What do the collective need to know about what's going on right now? And what's to come and how to prepare. All right, what else does the collective need to know right now? First, let's let's get more about this relationship or about this two of cups coming in. Okay, about this partnership. What else, like what what does that look like to some of the other collective? The star card, the star card in reverse. Okay, the star card in reverse. Okay, so for some of you guys, you may have felt like you will, you, you're not going to find somebody. You're not going to find the right person for you. And then boom, this person's just going to swoop in and and be there for you and you're going to be like what i lost i lost hope in finding this person i lost hope in yeah i lost hope in this person i lost hope in uh the idea that somebody's going to be here for me like i lost hope that there's the perfect person for me to do this i lost hope that there's anybody that can help me during this situation okay and boom someone's going to come in and you're going to be like what like this is amazing. I can't believe this is happening. It's going to be such a surprise for you that there's this person coming in for you that's going to be like, it's going to, it's going to be a collaboration in a way that's going to change, change your life. Okay. Because it was so surprising and you didn't know that this person existed and that this person is here for you and what you guys are going to accomplish together it's okay so cool all right interesting okay let's see what else what else um uh, what else what else what else can the collective expect okay what else can the collective expect what blessings are coming for the collective right now okay time to collaborate Oh my goodness, time to collaborate. There's that two of cups card. There's that two of cups card energy. Time to collaborate, okay? Time to collaborate. Okay, so there's more about this collaboration. What what more does the collective need to know about this collaboration? Let's pick. What does this collective need to know about this collaboration? what's 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 let's dive into this collaboration for the collective okay not yet i don't want to pick a uh, charm yet okay yeah let's pick one of these cards what more does uh the collective need to know about this collaboration with this person coming in for the collective Ooh. wow okay industry this collaboration, this co collaboration, it's, it feels like for some of you, it's a business collaboration. <clears throat> so if you're working on something like a business and, um, and you feel like you can't do it alone or there's something that you need to learn that you don't know yet, you're going to, somebody is going to come in and help you with this business, with this creative project okay because yeah with this creative project and then you're gonna see that this is it that this is it this like this is your opportunity to to hit it hit it right on the money okay and you are going going to do it because these cards are right next to the two of cups which means that there's this collaboration that's coming in there's this person coming in that's going to help you achieve your goals. That's going to help you achieve your dreams. And together you're going to achieve your dreams because I, I believe that you have the same vision 
and the same intentions. And so as you collaborate together, that's going to really push both of you guys into your uh, goals. And you guys are going to receive, receive together. Okay. Wow. Okay. Woo. Okay. What, what else, what else can we, what else can we expect? What else can the collective expect? What else does the collective need to know about right now? What's going on? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm very burpy this morning. <laughs> okay. What else? What else? Okay. Parrot spirit, watch your words. Okay, what does that mean? Watch your words. Watch your mouth. What does that mean? Watch your words. Okay, watch your words. What does that mean, spirit? What do you mean? What do you mean, watch your words? Queen of Wands. Reversed. Okay, Queen of Wands reversed. Oh, okay. The Fool reversed. Okay, don't get too cocky, I guess. Is that what, I feel like that's maybe what is being said here. Don't get too cocky. Stay humble, okay? Because the Queen of Wands is like a very charming, like popular kind of person and it's like yeah you're you're very powerful right now you're very activated and powerful and glowing people like see you as like this person this person might be <clears throat> really going places and so it's like but the fact that the card is reversed it's almost giving me like on Mean Girls, if you've ever seen Mean Girls, Janice, like Janice Ian, when she's talking to Katie um, in the car, <laughs> and she's saying, like, you think everybody loves you when in reality everybody hates you, okay? Don't be Regina George, Is I guess is what, what the message is, because we have the full card in reverse also, which means you could be foolish, like that's foolish energy, especially when it's in its reverse position, it means you're kind of you're kind of not thinking, okay? You're kind of just, yeah. So that's just a, a a a quick message there of like, stay humble. Like we, I know you're powerful. You are powerful, but stay humble. Stay stay in the energy of, you know, why why you're here, why you're doing this. You know, it's because it's. I feel like yeah. I feel like you're going to get with the Queen of Wands. You're going to get recognized you're going to get popular you're going to get yeah you're going to get popular is what i'm seeing so with okay so with the watch your words i'm hearing that with great power comes great responsibility that's pretty much what we're saying here that's pretty much what spirit is saying here is with great power comes great responsibility so that means as you're going towards this goal um you're going to be successful in it. That's what I'm seeing. Like whatever goal that you have been working on for a while, there's going to be an opportunity to like hit um, a target and you're going to bullseye that target and you're going to reap the benefit. Like I'm seeing in my mind with like this um, eight of uh, wands in tandem with the seven of pentacles, I'm seeing you like hunting and you see like an animal and you're pulling your uh, bow and arrow, you're letting go and phew, you got it. You got it. And you're, and you're t you got that hog and you're walking it home like you you have aimed fired and you got it okay so you have you are receiving what you're going towards you are getting you're getting <laughs> your manifestations it's they're manifesting okay and you're going to really be feeling successful so and it's so it's so prominent here your success is so sure it's so secure here that spirit is already like kind of like it's here you are successful you did it you did it okay you're do you're going to do what you you're setting out to do okay what you've been working on it's going to work now like you've got it you've got what what you need to get it and do it and receive and su successfully and then spirit's also just like 
okay, now that you've gotten this gift, now that you've become successful in your endeavors, just stay humble with it, you know, stay, stay humble with it. Don't do anything foolish. Don't over, um, just don't, I feel like so, something is saying, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Okay. Stay humble. Watch your words. Um, don't be foolish. What's this full card here? I don't know. This, this full card here in reverse is making me feel like there's like a warning here, maybe. Okay. What's, even the watch your words card feels like a warning a little bit. Watch your words. Queen of Wands reversed, the full card reversed. What's the warning here? What's the what's the warning? Okay. The warning card is the five of swords. Okay, so make sure you're not trying to be competitive. Make sure that the competitiveness that you may have or may, you may be feeling, we don't need the competitiveness, okay? We don't need to be the winner. We don't need to 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 be the winner at all costs, right? Because that's what the five of swords is. It's kind of like being being on top, but at what cost, you know? And it's like, we don't need to be on top. We don't need to boast and be like, oh, I'm the best. I'm the, like, let's stay humble okay that's the that's the that's the warning i mean that's the guidance really is stay humble okay because you are going to hit it on the mark you're going to get it you're going to get it big something amazing you're you're achieving something great and that greatness it it just it is what it is it get it can get to people's heads it can get to people's heads and it can make them feel powerful, especially especially with the power that you guys are receiving right now. The power you're receiving is like a power like you've never experienced before. It's like this achievement that you've never experienced before. And it's going to be such a gift. It's such a blessing. But because of the... Uh, because of the uh grandness of this power of this manifestation you will be like shot to the top so to speak and that's just a place that you've never been before so you're being asked to be careful to be careful okay don't be reckless stay 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 this person okay don't don't um don't change this this person because because all the, because we still have this energy lurking and this energy is waiting for you to mess up okay this energy is lurking it doesn't matter right now that, that this energy is lurking the, this energy is not going to interfere with you achieving your goals and your manifestations and your dreams not it cannot touch you in this process but once you get to this level this high level which you will so that's pretty cool. Congratulations to you. But once you get to this level, this energy is still lurking, okay? But you are protected and you are fine from that energy as long as you stay humble and you stay this person. You stay the high priestess, okay? Don't get lost. Don't get um, a big head because of your the position that you're being shot up to, okay? You're doing great and you won't have to worry about this energy. It's just a warning. Like the warning is... For you know, for some of you, temptation could get to you a little bit, but it's not going to swallow you. That's for sure. But in order to make this process to go sm as smooth as possible, it is necessary for spirit to step in and to tell you to stay humble and to stay the high priestess. And you can be a a, a male and you can still be the high priestess. It's just about staying your intuitive, connected self to source, which is what has gotten you here okay <clears throat> so just it's i love this because it's like once you get up to the top which you will just be careful okay don't get a big head because you're going high okay all right last messages for the collective last messages for the collective spirit okay let's should we pull an oracle card <clears throat> Last message for 
the collective. <clears throat> Last message for the collective, please. Okay, yeah. You are very protected. Angelic assistance. You're very protected. You're very activated. You're very charged. You're very connected to source. You're very connected to your natural power. You're very connected to it. I feel like, yeah, that's what you've been working towards. You've been working toward this. You've been working toward healing. You've been working on your healing process. You've been working on letting go of everything that interferes with a clear connection from the divine. Okay? And you've really cleared out your space, your energy space, so that your connection with the divine is so powerful that you have that magic to get what you want. And that's why you are getting what you want because you've achieved this connection with source and the divine. And source and divine is abundant and it's it's very giving. And as long as you're working with source, as long as you're co-creating with spirit, you know, that's spirit is working with you for a reason because you're open to that energy because you're re resonating at the frequencies of these angelic beings, of these um, spirit guides, okay? You're resonating with their resonance. So you are able to co-create with them. And if you're able to co-create with them, you're doing what they want and, <laughs> and they're doing what you want, okay? So it's a perfect symbiotic relationship and that will result in success and achievement in your goals, dreams, manifestations. So... <laughs> And get ready, get ready, collective, because you're going straight to the top and it's going to be great, but be careful, okay? Because even though you're in this bright space, you're activated, the devil is still here, okay? The devil is lurking. The devil is waiting for you to mess up. The de devil is waiting for you to get in your ego. That's what I'm seeing with the watch your words, with the full card in reverse, with the queen of wands in reverse, and then the five of swords. So that's all about like, if you get, if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you get too boasted up, that's when the devil is like, oh, they're getting in their ego. They're getting in their ego. That's when the devil can swoop in and be like, okay, let me, let me see if I can work, work my way in here. Okay. So that's why spirit is just saying, watch your words, <clears throat> stay humble don't get too competitive. Like don't get, don't get like too, if someone is disagreeing with you, don't try to use your status or your achievements in the face of those that are like, no, I don't believe in, like, don't, don't get in fights with people. Okay. That's low energy. And that's when the devil energy can swoop in. Okay. But you're going to be fine because you're you have angelic assistance. You're connected. You are impenetrable. You're going to be fine. <laughs> well, well, that's fun. All right. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, this was really cool. Congratulations because you are going to the top. You are achieving your manifestations. You are achieving your dreams. How cool is that? Um, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a Merry Christmas, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!